Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uthman from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah. How are you, brother Uthman? Yeah, I'm very good. All right, um, I have a question, yeah? Um, some time ago, like 2002, um, I was involved in a car accident. Yeah. Okay, so now I was driving a car. Um, I was on a green light. I was driving. And then all of a sudden, I had um, a motorbike coming in from um, another turn. And then I actually had an accident with a motorbike. Okay. So now um, the passenger on the motorbike had an, um, you know, it was like fatal because he died after the accident. They took him to the hospital. Uh, the hospital did not attend to him on time. Okay. And he lost a lot of blood because he was lying down somewhere in the emergency ward. You know, he lost a lot of blood. And then after a while, you know, he was pronounced dead. Mm. So now um, as a Muslim, I am aware that um, when, whether by accident, knowingly or unknowingly, you take a life, um, you're supposed to um, pass maybe 60 times, 60 days. Mm. Okay. Um, so now I started fasting. And then they now told me, because the guy is a Christian, the guy that I had an accident with is a Christian, and that I'm not supposed to do the fasting. So I wanted to confirm if this is true. Okay. Uh, okay, I would like to tell you that, because you mentioned earlier that it was a green light when you cross the light. So you're walking right, and he violated the traffic light. Am I right? Correct. Correct. In this case, the scholar said, if the person who got killed by accident, it was entirely his error. You were not speeding up. You did not cross the red light. Then you're not blameworthy whatsoever. You don't even have to give the blood money in this case, even if this okay. person is a Muslim. Because it was okay. entirely his fault. Like somebody was driving and somebody wanted to commit suicide and he threw himself before the driver. You cannot, okay. under any circumstances, avoid that or try to skip it because you're driving with the regular speed limit and this is a vehicle. Somebody just popped up. So it was his fault. Somebody dropped from second or third floor in front of you. Somebody crossed the light unexpectedly. Then you're not blameworthy. You will be required to give the fidya, the uh, blood money, and you will be required to do the kafara fasting for the 60 days, the two consecutive months, if you have any part to be blamed on as an error. If it was deliberate, that's something entirely different. مَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ أَنْ يَقْتُلَ مُؤْمِنًا إِلَّا خَطْعَةً The ayah and the ahkam which I discussed in Surah Nisa pertaining the indeliberate killing. Barakallahu feek, Uthman. Thank you so much.